Hello all, welcome to part one of Kubernetes Made Easy tutorial. In this session, I'm going to explain what exactly is Kubernetes. So let's get started. Kubernetes is a container management tool. That is, it is a tool for managing the containers. We can also say Kubernetes is a container orchestration engine. So how does Kubernetes manage containers? Before understanding that, let's first understand what exactly are containers. Without having the knowledge of containers, you will not understand how Kubernetes tool can manage containers. So let's understand containers. So that too, I'll explain containers in two different ways. First, I'll explain containers that are used in real world. And then I'll explain containers that are used in software. Okay. So first I'll explain the containers in real world. Okay. So this is the image guys. So once you look this image, you will understand what exactly are containers in real world. You know about these containers guys. Okay. You will see here and there. So let's wait for the image to load. And these are nothing but the containers. Why we use these containers guys in real world? For shipping, right? If you want to pack a group of things, and ship them to another location we need containers for example if you want to import okay if you want to import some goods from other country or other location to your locality for doing the business or whatever it is so you will get that goods in the form of containers right the other person who is selling the goods will pack all the goods required by you in this kind of uh, boxes known as containers and as a pack they will ship to your location and then you can unpack these containers and start uh, selling those uh, goods received from these containers at your locality for doing the business. Similarly, if you want to export the goods to other location also for packing purpose, for packing all your goods that you need to export to other location or other country, right? You need this kind of containers. In real world, this is what is a containers are about. Here, one thing you have to focus is packing. The main important aspect of containers is all your goods, different type of goods, it may be same goods or different goods, doesn't matter. All the goods that you need to ship to other location, you need to pack them together and put them into this kind of boxes known as containers so that they will not get mixed with other things, right? So this kind of containers are required in real world for this shipping purpose from one location to other location for importing and exporting of the goods. But coming to the software, containers have the same feel, containers have the same meaning, but how they are different in software. So in software, guys, containers are nothing but Okay, in software, the containers are nothing but lightweight virtual machines. Okay, in, re uh, in software terms, okay, not in real world. So in software, guys, the meaning of containers is lightweight virtual machines. That means these virtual machines are very lightweight. Okay, very lightweight, very fast kind of, okay. So, so, I will explain more about containers guys. Okay, I'll explain more about containers. So they are, for now, they are like a lightweight virtual machines. Okay, if, I, if you have to un uh, understand, okay, if you have to understand these containers in more detail, so here I can explain. Okay, so containerized application is the term you need to understand. So we have a software like Docker software guys. Okay, there is a software like Docker software. Okay, there are a set of videos which I have already created on Docker guys. Okay, if you want to, have more knowledge about what exactly containers are, how, why I'm saying containers are lightweight virtual machines in detail manner. If you want, you can go and watch my other videos on Docker. Okay, Docker. So using this Docker software, we can create these containers. Okay, using this Docker software, we can create this lightweight virtual machines. Fine. So why we have to create this lightweight virtual machines? That is containers to containerize the application. So here, like we are packing different type of goods into a single box, right? Called as container, right? Here also, in software also, we'll pack a lot of stuff like application, okay? The application, for example, amazon.com or flipkart.com, that application code will pack along with its required dependencies and libraries, okay? For this application to run, we need some dependencies and libraries, right? Some dependencies or libraries are required for running any application. That required applications and uh, uh, that uh, required dependencies and libraries required for the application along with the application and also the place to run them. Place to put all these application dependencies libraries is nothing but environment like it may be an operating system or whatever it is. Okay, so all these things need to be packed into a single box. Okay, 
all these things like uh, in software terms guys application the re dependencies libraries for running this application and the environment where the application has to run all these pieces will be put together into a single box known as a container guys and to create this container we need a software known as docker software okay to create this containers we need a software known as docker software using the docker software we can create this kind of containers where application and its required dependencies for running the application libraries for running the application and the place where this application has to run are and where this dependence libraries has to be put that is environment all this will be packed into a single entity or box known as container and this container need to be created using the software known as docker software and finally container is nothing but a lightweight virtual machine containing the application dependencies libraries and environment okay it is a lightweight virtual environment or machine and to create that containers we need docker software okay fine now you understood what is a container right now you understood what is a container so so in software terms you understood what is container now let's understand what is a kubernetes why kubernetes is required so in real world guys only one container is not enough okay for running the application in real world there are big applications right facebook.com amazon.com such kind of big complex applications if you want to run on a single container which is very lightweight that is not possible right so we need a group of that is a cluster of containers so if you see this image of the kubernetes you will understand what i am what i am talking about in real world needs an application a single application cannot be run on a single container we need a group of containers a very huge list of containers we need and where this will where these containers will be available where these containers will be available we have to create these containers on the a set of server machines not a single server machine for big applications a group of containers that is a cluster of containers need to be created on a set of server machines not a single server machine okay now to manage a single container okay we can manage okay for managing a single container we can manage we can start the container we can stop the container we can uh, deploy the application into the container we can do the process in the container manually we can do for we can manage for one container but in real need in real needs as per the real needs as i already mentioned okay single container is not enough a large list of a group of a cluster of containers are required to be created on a set of server machines to manage that many number of containers okay to manage that name that many number of containers on the server machines it's not a simple task we cannot do it manually that's where guys we need kubernetes a tool which manages a cluster of containers on the server machines okay which are there on the server machines that is called as kubernetes which is a container management tool we also we can say that as container orchestration tool okay container management tool or container orchestration tool fine so what does this tool manage how does this kubernetes or any other container management tool manage this containers okay generally this kubernetes or any other container management tool will manage the containers in the form of deploying they this kind of tool this management tool will deploy the applications on this container it will schedule the processes okay some activities need to be done some jobs need to be done on this uh, containers right that scheduling of the jobs everything will be done by the this tool and scaling you see in real time an application may need a set of containers a number of containers sometimes application may need more containers then we need to scale up the number of containers increase the number of count of the containers who can do that again the same tool okay scale down sometimes unnecessary containers are there we need to scale down okay so whatever the containers that are required uh, for running our application that many number of containers are enough sometimes we need to scale up the containers sometimes we need to reduce the count of the containers on the server machines and this is all comes into managing part guys and load balancing another important point is load balancing you see the applications like amazon.com flipkart.com in real world right they will get a lot of traffic user traffic will come right people keep on placing the orders people keep on posting something on facebook right this all requests will go and hit these containers okay these these containers are the place where the application is deployed and running okay these are the lightweight virtual machines on which the application is deployed and running so when all the traffic is hitting the single container the container will go down or the application will slow down so here without affecting the application speed the traffic need to be diverted to different container machines here container lightweight virtual machines here all these things will be taken by kubernetes internally container management tools internally 
they will divert the traffic they will okay direct the traffic to the required uh, container machines and make them make the application run smoothly without any performance issues that's where load balancing is required and many other things can be managed by the tools like this kubernetes which are container management tools like uh, apart from deploying scheduling scaling up and down load balancing right other activities can be like other management activities done by this container management tools are batch execution rollbacks monitoring monitoring of these containers and many more are possibilities okay so now hope you understood now what is a kubernetes kubernetes is one of the container management tools available in the market for managing the containers that is managing the lightweight virtual machines which are packed with this application required dependencies libraries and environment environment okay so how to create these containers we have to use docker software one of the software in the market for creating the containers is docker there are other softwares also apart from docker for creating the containers docker is a famous software in the market for creating the containers this kind of lightweight virtual machines and to manage that group of virtual machines a cluster of virtual machines on the server machines for doing the scheduling uh, uh deploying scaling load balancing and many other management activities we need container management tool that is container orchestration engine that is kubernetes and kubernetes is also known as kts why it is called known as kts why shortly it is called as kts there is a reason guys you see starting letter is k ending letter is s and in between k and s there are eight letters that's why it is called as kts short form if you want to call kubernetes in a short form you can say kts okay so that's what is the kubernetes all about guys so i explained a lot already about the container and kubernetes by this time let's understand more in real world what happens okay real time what happens so in real time guys uh, the application code will be developed by the developer and once the application code is ready and developed by the developer developer will simply package okay will pack this uh, application into the container right you see here container means we have to pack everything na so container means we have to pack everything here i said whatever the goods you want to deliver to other locality right all the set of goods we have to pack together that that becomes a box known as container here also developer will develop the code for an application application is one thing one item okay which can which for which the code has been developed by the developer that's one item apart from the application guys uh, there are some dependencies and libraries required for running this application right you see every application cannot run it by its own right it requires some third party dependencies and libraries right right all these dependencies and libraries for running the application are required so developer clearly knows what are the dependencies and libraries uh, that are required for creating and running the application all this together we will pack and along with that uh, we need a place right to run run this application and uh, to get to pro- put this uh, dependencies and libraries for running the application we need a place like environment like operating system and all those stuff okay all these four items or any other items that are required will be packed into a box known as container which is a lightweight virtual machine so developer does that once this container is right ready that is lightweight virtual machine having this application dependence libraries and environment environment is ready then developer will upload the container okay into some cloud platforms for example docker there is a cloud platform like docker hub.docker.com is a cloud platform uh, such kind of places developer will upload this container and from that place all the team members all the team members who are working in the team along with this developer right maybe testers or any other person okay uh, other other colleagues or whatever it is they will if they have to get this container which is uh, created and packed by this developer right they can download the container okay so shipping is done here here developer is packing the required goods like application dependencies libraries and environment and putting in a box known as lightweight virtual machine and uploading that into a a central place where people can download then from that place whoever has access right they can download the container and start using start running this container that is lightweight virtual machines having the application dependencies li- libraries and environment packed together ready made container right ready made machine having all the application running so people can simply download and start running the containers start running the virtual machines so this what happens in real time guys okay so here you need to understand the term containerized application who, who will create this containerized application developer will create using the with the help of the docker software developer will create this kind of container having all the packing of all this stuff and create the containerized application that people can download developer will upload this create after creating he will upload that and other people in the team can download and start using without any problem same replica they can download and use and as i already mentioned right all the other advantages of the uh, kubernetes i already mentioned okay 
so there are different advantages like deploying scheduling scaling load balancing i already explained this okay so why container price container orchestration tools are required you see in real world one container is not enough multiple group of containers are required for that we need some container management tools like kubernetes kubernetes is one of the famous okay one of the famous container management tool okay container management tools available in the market that's why people will go with the kubernetes for managing the containers okay a group of clusters will be group of cluster of uh, containers will be managed on the set of servers that will be done by kubernetes all these are the management activities deploying scheduling scaling load balancing and all those stuff okay batch execution rollbacks monitoring and all the stuff and all these activities are automated you don't have to do the things manually guys this management activities are done automatically by kubernetes once you give kubernetes this set of or a cluster of containers which are uh, created on the created on the server machines a set of server machines right kubernetes will take the remaining part it will automate all the processes like scheduling scaling up and all those stuff okay so similar to kubernetes there are other alternative container orchestration tools or container management tools available in the market but kubernetes is the most popular one so few examples for uh, alternatives for uh, kubernetes are docker swarm and apache mesos marathon these are the other two container management tools available in the market similarly for creating the containers also docker is one for creating this lightweight virtual machines containing this uh, packet applications libraries dependencies and uh, environment right docker is a software such software we can use for creating uploading and downloading all the stuff similarly docker also has some alternatives in the market guys but docker is famous at same time kubernetes famous kubernetes can manage so kubernetes is the most popular container management tool which can manage a cluster of containers which are created using this software known as docker software okay to understand docker more just watch my other videos on docker guys uh, there are around 20 plus videos i created just uh, go and watch my other videos on docker okay if you want to get more clarity on what is kubernetes and what is docker and what is container what are containers and how kubernetes manages the containers so that's all about the kubernetes guys in the next session i'll explain more about kubernetes because i don't want to cover everything about kubernetes in this session so this is just an introduction of kubernetes just, just to get started so we have to go to the next level deep level of kubernetes that i will be covering in the next few sessions and followed by that uh, sessions i'll make the things more practical like uh, how to use kubernetes and all practical stuff also i'll explain in the upcoming sessions this is just a part one let's meet in the part two guys thank you bye